Hello again everyone, and welcome back to Learn Linux TV. In today's video, what I'm going to do is talk about TrueNAS for the very first time on this channel. The thing is, TrueNAS has long been based on BSD, however, TrueNAS Scale is based on Debian, which means it qualifies for coverage on this channel. And what I'm going to do in particular in today's video is talk about five reasons why TrueNAS is my favorite NAS platform. And you know what? TrueNAS is awesome. You could download it for free and transform just about any device into a dedicated network attached storage server. There's also a ton of features, some of which we're going to cover in this video, and among them is ZFS, one of my favorite things about TrueNAS. ZFS is one of the best file systems out there and it helps you with data integrity, which keeps your data safe. But it's not just about ZFS, there's all kinds of things to get excited about. You can set up apps on TrueNAS, for example, which means if you have just one server for use on your home lab, then you can install just about anything you'd want to run in your home lab on TrueNAS. Best of all, the user interface is very easy to navigate, so it's simple to find whatever you're looking for. Overall, TrueNAS is very well designed. So in today's video, what we're going to do is check out TrueNAS, and I'm going to give you five reasons why I love it so much. Also, I just wanted to mention that you should become a channel member. It'll give you access to ad-free content as well as early access to select videos. Best of all, by becoming a member and hitting that join button, you are helping Learn Linux TV on its path to educate everyone about Linux. So become a member and I would really appreciate that. Anyway, with all of that out of the way, it's time to get started and check out five reasons why I love TrueNAS. First, one of the biggest strengths of TrueNAS Scale is the flexibility that it offers when it comes to how you get started. You can purchase a system with TrueNAS pre-installed or you can install it on your own hardware. If you prefer a turnkey solution, the TrueNAS Mini, which is dedicated hardware produced by iX Systems, the company behind TrueNAS, it's a great option. The TrueNAS Mini is designed to work out of the box, making it ideal for anyone that wants a reliable NAS solution without the hassle of building or configuring hardware. However, purchasing a TrueNAS Mini is not required. If you have existing hardware that you'd like to repurpose, that's an excellent and often more cost-effective way to deploy TrueNAS. And for those of you that enjoy building systems from the ground up, assembling a custom TrueNAS server can be a rewarding project that gives you full control over every component. And using your own hardware also has the added benefit of reducing e-waste by giving older hardware a second chance at life. And installing TrueNAS Scale is refreshingly simple. The installer itself only has a few straightforward prompts, and setup typically completes very quickly, allowing you to get your system up and running in no time. I'll be demonstrating the entire installation process in my upcoming Getting Started with TrueNAS video, so keep an eye out for that tutorial if you want to follow along with me step by step. Another reason why I really like TrueNAS is how effectively it leverages ZFS, which is well known for its focus on reliability and data integrity. With the right configuration, TrueNAS can automatically run scheduled data scrubs, which are processes that detect and repair silent corruption on the fly. This means that your data is continuously verified without you having to manually check each of your files. And that level of protection matters quite a bit in my case. Every YouTube video that I've uploaded over the years is archived on my TrueNAS server, and I've published so many videos that it would literally be impossible for me to manually review each of them one by one to ensure that nothing has been corrupted. But even if you're not a content creator like me, most people do have important files that they want to preserve. For example, personal documents, photos, or projects. And when it comes to photos, I literally have tens of thousands of photographs stored on my TrueNAS server, and manually verifying those files would just not be realistic. And in my opinion, that's where ZFS really shines. It uses checksums to detect issues like bit rot or other forms of silent data corruption, and it can even automatically repair files when redundancy is properly configured for example, RAID Z. But beyond integrity checking, CFS snapshots are incredibly easy to set up within TrueNAS, and you can even configure automatic snapshots to capture the state of your data at regular intervals, and you can roll back to a previous point in time within seconds. Sorry to interrupt my own video, but I wanted to let you guys know that there's some new products available in the Learn Linux TV merch shop that you should definitely check out. And there's something for everyone. For example, the Dark Side of the Terminal shirt for Sysadmin Rockstars, a classic red tee with a Debian swirl for Distro Loyalists, 
And of course, the infamous, by the way, I use art shirt for maximum effect at meetups. There's also the classic apt install coffee shirt for those of you that have caffeine fueled working sessions. And there's some other cool things like drinkware, stickers, buttons, and a lot more. In fact, if you're obsessed with Linux, there's a shirt for that too. Every purchase helps support the channel and lets you rock some seriously geeky fashion at the same time. Just visit the URL that you see on the screen, get yourself something nice, and support Linux learning. I would really appreciate it. Thanks again, everyone. And with that out of the way, let's get back to our video. Another major advantage of TrueNAS is its built-in container-based app ecosystem. And that makes it easy for you to deploy a wide variety of applications with just a few clicks. Whether you want to stream media to your TV, organize your ebook library, run monitoring dashboards, or set up other home lab services, chances are there's an app within the catalog that fits your needs. Personally, I usually prefer to run applications outside of my NAS, and the reason for that is I like to keep my infrastructure modular with each server being dedicated to a very specific purpose. Normally, I run my containerized services and virtual machines on a separate Proxmox server, but unfortunately that server recently failed due to a hardware issue, and I haven't had a chance to replace it yet. In the meantime, I decided to deploy my essential services directly on TrueNAS using its apps ecosystem, and I was able to get everything running quickly and without any issues at all. I've been genuinely impressed with how smooth and straightforward the entire process is. While I still believe that running services on a dedicated server, maybe using something like Portainer or Proxmox, can offer more flexibility, I also recognize that not everyone has the budget for multiple servers. For many home lab users, especially those working within limited resources, Running both storage and services on a single server is practical and very cost effective. Now that I've spent some time actually using the TrueNest apps feature for myself, I could confidently say that it's a reliable and easy to use solution that works exactly as it should. Another thing that I appreciate about TrueNest is its user interface. It's fast, intuitive, and well organized. That makes it one of my favorite UIs of any NAS platform out there. I've never had any trouble finding the settings or features that I need, and the overall layout feels very thoughtfully designed. And that level of clarity matters because TrueNAS is absolutely packed with features. Practically every storage related function is placed in a logical location, which is impressive given how extensive the platform's capabilities are. Even after years of using TrueNAS, I still occasionally discover features that I haven't explored before, and whether you are setting up a network share, configuring snapshot schedules, seeking data to an off-site provider, or even replicating data between servers, everything is easy to find and manage thanks to the interface's structure. I also really like the separation between the operating system and your data volumes. The boot volume is independent, so that means you can upgrade TrueNAS without affecting your stored data at all. You can even keep multiple versions of TrueNAS itself installed, and you can select which one to boot from within the interface. And if something ever goes wrong during an upgrade or configuration change, reinstalling TrueNAS and restoring from a backup file is straightforward. It gets you back up and running quickly without risking your data. The UI design reflects this flexibility and safety, and the fact that I'm still discovering useful features after all the years that I've been using TrueNAS is a big part of what makes working with it so much fun. Finally, one of the biggest advantages of TrueNAS Scale is that it's completely free to download and use. There's no licensing fees, no artificial restrictions, and also no required subscriptions. Whether you're deploying a single server at home or managing a larger environment with dozens or even hundreds of systems, you could do so without paying for expensive software licenses. And because this solution is open source, you have full control over how and where it's used. For organizations or individuals who need additional help, paid enterprise support is also available from iX Systems. And while that's not required, it can be a valuable option for businesses that want extra assurance or guaranteed response times. That said, TrueNAS is very easy to manage, and most home lab users and experienced administrators will find that they can maintain it without needing a support contract. However, if you do find that you need a support agreement, it is available. And that ties back to one of the core strengths of TrueNAS itself. You can install it on the hardware of your choosing, and you maintain full ownership of your data. There's no vendor lock-ins to worry about, there's no proprietary licensing hurdles either, and no hidden cost. You simply download it, install it, and you're in control. And again, TrueNAS is my absolute favorite storage platform. There's just no comparison. And like I mentioned earlier, I'm going to have a full getting started guide that's going to cover TrueNAS for those of you that are getting started with it. So make sure that you're subscribed to Learn Linux TV and keep an eye on the channel. That way, you won't miss that video as soon as it's out. 
And there you go. In today's video, I mentioned five reasons why I love TrueNAS so much. It's definitely a very awesome NAS platform. I really hope you enjoyed today's video, and if you did, be sure to click that like button to let YouTube know. Also, make sure you subscribe to Learn Linux TV if you haven't already done so. I upload new content each and every week. Anyway, thanks again for checking out this video, and I'll see you in the next one.